Hi, this is Luke from NGN, and today we're going to talk about the first person parkour slash map, Ghost Runner. Our impressions are going to be broken down into four parts. First, the story. Was it interesting and engaging enough to keep us around? Then, the voice acting and the sound. How was the voice acting quality? Was it casted well? Then, the gameplay. Did it feel fluid? Was it enjoyable? Were tutorials and gameplay mechanics introduced in a natural or easy to learn way? And then finally, the X Factor. What makes Ghost Runner a good or bad game? You're a robot ninja from the future. You should feel badass. Does the game live up to that expectation? Stick with us and find out. Like I mentioned in the intro, Ghost Runner drops the player into a fantastical cyberpunk world to throw off the reins of a tyrannical oppressor through the power of parkour and swords. Throughout the course of the game, the player will race against the clock in a world decimated by the catastrophic collapse of humanity as the last remnants of our fallible race vie for resources in the superstructure that houses the survivors. The player will jump, slide, wall run, hack and slash their way through the dystopian environment to unlock the capabilities of the Ghost Runner and find the truth of their story hidden behind a cloud of mystery. These are the MGN impressions of the cyberpunk adventure brought to the world by One More Level and Slipgate Ironworks and published by All In Games and 505 Games. Our article is based, and this video is based, on the PC version of the game. So, if you're playing on another version, uh, another platform, or anything really, your experience might be different from ours. We're running it on PC. If you play it on your calculator, your potato, or the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, your experience is going to be different to ours. But for now, let's explain how the impressions work. They're broken down into four parts. First, the story, then the sound, gameplay, and X Factor. X Factor is going to be different from game to game, but for Ghost Runner, it's how badass do you feel when playing Ghost Runner? You are, like I said, a robot ninja from the future. You should feel badass, do you? We'll get there. Story. Whilst it can be said that the plot of Ghost Runner exists simply to give the context to the, the parkour, the playing of the game, the sword chopping, doesn't mean the story is bad. Without spoiling too much, I will say, the writers have given you enough to play with there. The early stages of the game work really quickly and really well to introduce you to what you're doing in Dharma Tower, and why you should care. This is aided heavily by the voice acting at the start of the game. The Ghost Runner and the first ally the player will encounter in the Architect are voiced really well. They just work really, really well together to get you interested, to draw you in. Their voices are like butter, and I like butter. Next, the sound. I already mentioned the voice acting is fantastic, but it's not just the voice acting we're concerning ourselves with. The soundtrack is really good, it amps you up, it gets the blood flowing. Whilst I will say that at some points in the game, due to the nature of the trial and error playthrough style, sometimes the music is really amped up and you are just walking through or listening to some exposition. So some timing might be off there, but if you're better at the game than me and you're not dying as often, then you're going to have that pumped up music when you're feeling badass. Moving on, gameplay. The game does feel a lot like a Mirror's Edge clone with swords. Think of Genji from Overwatch mixed with, I don't remember the protagonist, from Mirror's Edge. But it does feel very fluid, you don't feel clunky, the abilities feel really satisfying to use, and some you'd expect to see. You might expect to gain the ability to de deflect bullets with your sword back at enemies. Guess what? That expectation is met. And I won't give too much away for the uh, remainder of the abilities, but some stuff that you want to do and you're dying to do throughout the early stages of the game, you get to. Next and last, we have the X Factor. Did I feel badass playing Ghost Runner? I did. I felt badass the entire time. Even when I was failing at the game, even when I was dying, I felt really cool. And for me, that's worth the price of admission. That's worth picking up the game. Even if you only have 5 or 10 minutes to play, in those 5 and 10 minutes, you feel like a really cool robot ninja from the future cutting people up. It's a lot of fun, and like I said, 
even if you're failing, even if you take a couple of tries to get through a level, you still feel cool the entire time. So, Ghost Runner gets a check mark for that. Thanks for listening. Ghost Runner's out right now if you want to play. It's on PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and the Nintendo Switch. Thanks for listening, and check out our website and the blog for more Ghost Runner content.